Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we have written the transformation class that will convert the data coming from the Excel file to a data table. Now I'm going to do a little refactoring of our transformation class to make it more readable. So let me convert this in a method. So just do a right click after selecting it, refactor and extract method. I will call it as get Excel data. Okay. And I will convert this into a method called get data table rows. Okay, and convert this one into a method called get data table. Okay, now let me put a breakpoint over here. And after that, we need to modify the step definition. So now after applying the transformation, it will be in the form of a data table. So here we need to use transformer, specify the transformation class that is Excel data to data table dot class. And this will be your data table table. So here I will call sysout and print the table to a string as well as I will use the method which is present inside the data table class. So table dot as list string dot class and this will give me a list of strings. So list of string data list. And I'm going to print that list so far. String str in your list. Sys out str. I will put a breakpoint over here also. Inside our runner, change the flag to false and run this in a deeper mode. And make sure that your Excel file is closed because we are going to read it while storing the data. So now this utility will read all the data from the Excel file and give us in the form of a list data structure. So if I look at the Excel data, you can see here the entire data is populated in the form of a list data structure. Okay, this is the entire data. So once we have the data data from the Excel file, I will convert them into a data table row. So if you look at here, all the data in the form of a data table row. So this is your first row. Then this is your second row and so on. And using this, I'm going to convert it into a data table. So you have a table. So as you can see here at the console, it has dumped all the data from the Excel file to the console, okay? And as you can see here, these are nothing, these are the line number which we have supplied, okay? Which is the, this one. So I will perform an existing method which comes from the data table class. So you can see here, it has converted it into a list and now it is going to display all the value. So these are all the values which are coming from the Excel file. 
now assume that you want to remove this line numbering so for this we need to again modify our transformation class so as you can see here we are supplying the comment as the line just remove this one and rerun your runner so now as you can see here the line numbers are gone okay so in this manner you can read the data from the excel file and convert into a data table which will be more, more which will be more helpful while doing the operation inside the step definition file